But the Nigerian Defense Academy, NDA, has assured its commitment to incorporating cybersecurity training into the military curriculum or curriculum rather for its cadets. But these aims to equip them to handle both conventional and unconventional threats, thereby enhancing Nigeria's overall security posture in an increasingly digital world. Now, the assurance was given during the Camp Highland Battle inoculation exercise of the 71st Regular Course and Direct Short Service Course 28 held in Kachia, Kaduna State in northwestern Nigeria. Now, this marked the final outdoor physical and combat training for the 71st Regular Cadets after rigorous and intensive military training. The Special Guest of Honor, Air Vice Marshal Namdi Ananaba, the Air Officer Commanding of the Air Training Command of the Nigerian Air Force in Kaduna, stressed that the loyalty of Nigeria's armed forces in defending the nation's territory must be unquestionable as they are constitutionally mandated to combat threats. You must be prepared to be drafted at short notice for difficult and dangerous and of course, life-threatening operations, such as the operations which I have mentioned, counter-terrorism campaigns, prepare to join them in theaters of operation for the defense of the sovereignty and patriotic favor and courage, defense of the sovereignty of our dear nation as well. But apart from mastering the tactics, techniques, and procedures, your loyalty to the nation must be Unquestionable. And I go forward with that patriotic favor and courage to discharge your constitutional roles to your fatherland. Uh, Major General John Ochai, the Commandant of the Nigerian Defense Academy, stated that the cadets undergo rigorous training in military skills, physical fitness, discipline, and leadership. He assured that the well-trained cadets will contribute significantly to addressing Nigeria's security challenges. All our adversaries need to hear this very clear. These are some of the best trained uh, officers that we are going to commission in the history of the Nigerian Defense Academy. They are, they are airborne qualified, they've done amphibious training and some elements of special forces. They've also been introduced into cyber warfare as well. They are technologically savvy. And I can assure the nation, particularly the armed forces, that this set of uh, cadets are going to bring a lot of value into confronting the challenges that we are facing, particularly in the security uh, area. So they've had an all-round training that will enable them lead men towards achieving the aim and objectives as well as the orders given to them by the leadership of the armed forces. The battle inoculation training will expose cadets to the sights, sounds, and experiences of the battlefield in order to prepare them for countering insurgency and terrorism. This battle inoculation exercises exposes them to the actual, the actual environment that they are going to experience in a battlefield. In a battlefield, you'll be hearing sounds of gunshots, you'll be hearing sounds of explosions, you'll be hearing sounds of your enemy firing at you, bullets whistling over your head, people falling beside you. That is the real deal. So this exercise brings them as close to reality as possible. It makes them appreciate what they are going to experience when they get into the battlefield. So having gone through this, when we deploy them to the battlefield, it's something that they are already used to. So it won't come as a shock to them. They will be well prepared and able to respond appropriately to whatever is brought up against them. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.